What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. All right. Um, Lena is putting out her side of the story, and we're going to talk about it. I'm a little tipsy, so give me a second. But I got my tea. This is chai la tea. Okay. Let's get it. What's up, besties? Okay. It's your girl, Lena G, and we are back with another freaking video, y'all. It has been a long, long three months since I posted on this channel. In those three months, y'all, I obviously got engaged, which most of y'all should know if you follow the LNK family channel. But yeah, I've got engaged. I Nick dropped a video. Postpartum. Olenia. Nick dropped a video tonight. It's four months. Um, and I just feel like a lot has happened. Oh, wait. She going through postpartum? Family channel. But, yeah. I've got engaged. I am four months postpartum. Olenia is four months. Wait. When you say four months postpartum, and clearly you include postpartum, that means she's postpartum. What if she just had the baby and you don't just say postpartum? I'm just trying to make sure. Because she say postpartum. Because when I think of postpartum, I ain't gonna lie, I think of bad stuff. So when she say postpartum, that means postpartum. Like I know postpartum, like depression and you know, she had the baby four months ago. That means the baby came out. That's it. All right. Just making sure. Um, and I just feel like a lot has happened in those three months. And honestly, I don't know why. I went ghost on you guys. I always say I'm going to be consistent on this channel. But then I always go ghost. Like, I just don't know what it is. I feel like I be feeling like I want a purpose when I'm posting on this channel. And sometimes I be like in my head. So if she say postpartum depression, that means that's a bad thing. Got it. Like, do they really want to watch this? Should I really post this? I don't know. But that's really why I haven't posted in three months. Plus, I've just been in this mom mode, fiance era traveling you know just taking care of life and living life and it's already we do a lot on our family channel then trying to do content on this plus my tiktok which i also do content on plus our family tiktok it just be a lot to juggle and i'm really sorry to all the besties because y'all always text me like lena when are you posting again lena you need to be posted again and i just want to say i apologize like i'm i might like you know i'm not even gonna say what i might do like it just might happen but I'm not going to tell you guys because then you guys are going to like. Lena, shit happens. We be busy. Okay. And on and things have been said. And truthfully, it's only right that I say what I want to say. Get what I want to get off my chest. Because it kind of just, I don't know. I've just been thinking about it a lot. And I've been sitting on it. I didn't want to make a video as soon as I got back home. With all the emotions that I felt, I kind of just wanted to let everything settle down and really think about my emotions and think how I wanted to like speak on this situation. Um, it's honestly a situation that got blown out of proportion, to be honest. I personally feel like something like super innocent, you know, just like a, hey, is this over there? Got turned into miscommunications on like people's end. You know, it got brought into the light, which made other people like you guys, the supporters, the fans, you know have a say so in this situation and then obviously i did go live twice speaking about the situation and then videos were made after that and then another video <laughs> was made after that i should have never went live huh. and spoke about the situation um. i will take accountability for that and then what i will also say is we should have just got kaiser an outfit instead Hello. of asking even though it was an innocent, hey, do you have this over there? Ask. We should have just got it. And it would have just avoided this whole entire situation. Yes, Lord. And that's just is what it is. Now, when we was in Thailand, um, we had posted a video. I think it was like, get ready with us for our engagement party. I had an engagement party, y'all. Also, if you guys didn't know, but I'm sure you guys knew. <laughs> we posted a video like, get ready with us for our engagement party. And mm -hmm. as we're in Thailand, you know, I'm reading the comments. I always read the comments because a lot of you guys are our supporters. You guys are always saying good things. And a lot of you guys were like really happy for us in this like era of life <clears throat> for me and King. I was reading the comments and then out of nowhere, <laughs> I started getting spammed on my Instagram. We started getting spammed on YouTube. And everybody's like, why do you get Kaiser an outfit? How come Kaiser didn't have an outfit? Lena, you're dead wrong. Lena, you're keeping 
you know, Lane, ever since King got with Lena, he hasn't been taking care of his son. It was just like a bunch of stuff. I was getting spammed in the DMs. I was getting spammed on Instagram. We were getting spammed on YouTube. And I was so confused. I'm like, I remember Sean King. I'm like, babe, what are they talking about? Like, what the heck? Like, where is this coming from? And then I went, you know, I looked up Neat's channel and I saw she posted a video that said getting Kaiser ready for uh king's engagement party and then i had i was like oh this is where it's coming from and then you know obviously i clicked it to see what was said. i'm sorry y'all i gotta be quiet and listen to what's going on because sometimes i speak before i'm supposed to speak so I had to see why people are all of a sudden coming to our page and you know i saw the video she had to go and get kaiser an outfit and stuff like that honestly i'm gonna be real i really wasn't a part of the whole kaiser outfit situation king was just handling that because i was handling literally everything else that had to do with the engagement party from my appointments to talking with the event planner to you know talking to her about what time things had to be picked up to talk how was he talking to the event planner had to go see the venue to you talking to the event planner having go having to go see the venue like i'm not gonna lie a lot of people been asking me like why doesn't candy work i don't think people realize that running a household is a job see that's how it's supposed to be ran because in the bible because y'all know y'all love to bring it up the men supposed to bring home the bacon. The woman cooks the bacon, right? So women originally, since they love to go by the Bible, was not supposed to be working. I just want to put that out there. So if King is handling the money, he got to handle the party or whatever the case may be. Ultimately, Lena has to handle everybody else. She has to handle the children. She got to make sure her makeup and stuff is together. And don't get me wrong. She might have to make some phone calls. But one person should have been showing up to these situations. Okay. Baby, I talked to the event planner. She said that you can meet her at around 7. Okay. At the spot. We could look at da da da. And we can plan da da da. Okay. So, I... Don't understand why she didn't have that said role to play or how they both had that role to play. I'm not understanding that, but we're going to keep going. Talking with my family that was coming down, my friends that were coming down. So honestly, he was handling that part. Then, you know, I obviously was a little frustrated because I'm like, I just felt like it could have been avoided. I felt like... I felt like it could have been avoided. I felt like we had already talked, you know, him and her have already talked um, numerous of times saying like, hey, please don't mention us in your videos. We won't mention you in our videos. When you mention us in your videos, we always get backlash in a negative way or just like, it's just never a good, happy situation. It's always like a negative way. And I just feel like when you're co-parenting and when you're trying to like really work things out for the child that's in the middle, it's just like you have to respect each other's boundaries and wishes and those things. So like we had already, you know, came to the agreement. You don't speak about us. We won't speak about you. So obviously I was already upset about that because first, you know, me and her didn't leave off on a good note the last time we spoke. And the last time me and Nick spoke was she texted me and King and she was like, hey, you know, can you guys stop talking about Kaiser's situation? like his school situation because it's just nobody's business and she was getting backlash and I remember like it was posted on the tea room and everybody was bashing her and stuff like that and I had told her you no know, like that was not my intentions to like um speak about it and make it into like a negative way we were just letting our supporters know why Kaiser hasn't been in our videos and why he hasn't been around much this year and just kind of clearing the air for our supporters because that's what King wanted to be said and then you know like i apologize i said going forward like we won't we won't mention that like that's cool and then in the same group message king and her were just like going at it and then you know things got a little disrespectful and then i was just like you know i texted i was just like yeah no like that's not cool like <clears throat> why is lena in the group message i'm not gonna lie one thing i've learned with co-parenting is let them niggas handle that Lena has no business, and I mean no business, in King and Neek business. And when I say that is because they made that child together, right? Not only that, they was together for a lot of time. So it's a different type of emotion there 
that's not always sexual. It's not always I want you back. It's not always I love you so much. Sometimes it's bitch you don't remember what happened in 2007. Okay? It's it's you don't remember when da 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 okay the day i had kaiser you weren't even there you were supposed to make my peanut butter jelly sandwich and you you get what i'm saying it's some things that you don't belong in to protect you and your peace and unfortunately i had to learn these things because it wasn't none of my business and to be honest that was the first time candy put me in my place i didn't know how to feel but she said, some things you don't need to be involved in. This ain't got nothing to do with you. And I, y'all, I was, I had to call my mama. <laughs> okay. I'm just, listen, I'm tipsy too. I'm being transparent because this co-parenting shit ain't easy. Right. But Lena really need to get it. And she need to tell King, she need to set that boundary with King. You need to handle this, baby. Because I feel like she wants to be involved and you involving yourself in something you don't need to be involved in. Okay. Them two had that baby together. So they got to handle that. You know what I'm saying? But listen, listen, we going through this, let us handle that. Because <laughs> you wouldn't even understand. You get involved in some shit. You don't even know what they talking about. Like, yo, wait a minute. Hold on. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> y'all did this. Two years ago, I had nothing. I had. I didn't, I didn't even know nothing about that because it ain't none of your business. You get what I'm saying? I don't know if King is involved in her or she feels as though she need to be involved, but she need to sit her ass down <clears throat> to disrespect him while I'm in the same group message. Like you know, especially she when don't owe you respect, huh? She don't. He's not disrespecting you or calling you. Don't even matter. I'm not gonna lie. I think that Nick is really like frustrated. I'm not gonna lie. After looking at all of this and like hearing all of these things, Nick has zero respect for King. And in the beginning, like I always felt like Nick did too much. I felt like she didn't let him talk. Um, I feel like she, that respect factor just was never there in the first place. And that's kind of um, where I would be biased in the situation. Cause I feel like it's a certain amount of, you can have some respect for this man. Why you won't let him talk? I get it. He may go in circles or whatever, but damn, let him speak, you know? And I, I respect the fact that Lena lets him speak because I would sound um, hypocritical by not saying that because I really was so aggravated that Neek would not let that man speak. But I think that she knows he's just not putting in the effort he should. And that's what she's upset about, which she has the right to be. Out your name for you to just call him out your name. His name is like, it's not cool. And he, nobody should call anybody out their name. You know, obviously things were said back and forth and we had never spoke about it since then. So then personally me, I just felt like using our engagement party in your title, which wasn't only King's event, but also my event and something very like sentimental, sentimental and special to me. I just felt like was not okay. You know, cause I, we don't put anything that has to do with her in our titles. We don't talk about her in any type of way. We don't mention her name. We don't put her name in our titles. We don't mention any event she got going on in our titles. So I just feel like there- She didn't put your name in her title. There has to be boundaries in this co-parenting, you know, blended family type of situation. Like there just has to be boundaries. He has already been said so many times like, hey, stop speaking about either the past or stop speaking about certain situations because it's affecting us and what we got going on over here. And we're very like, you know, if y'all know, if you guys are LK support, you guys know we really don't be in no drama. We're very peaceful. We're a whole different type of lifestyle over here. And it just messes what we got going on. You know, like we don't want that type of traffic over here. We have our own type of group, our own kind of supporters. And that's just what it is. So I had texted her directly instead of before I even went live, I had texted Neek directly. And I was just like, hey, you know, especially like how we left off things before. I just feel like 
using our engagement party. 444 in the chat. Party and your title wasn't okay. And then I had kind of explained the situation to her about like, you know how Neek and mom, Neek's mom and whatever. You guys already know that whole situation, how they already had a conversation. And like, you know, you saying something like that on camera, just it gave people room to comment on the co-parenting situation, comment on something that had nothing to do with them. And I feel like, that's where it all went wrong. It's like you expressing that on camera, you gave people an opportunity to be a part of a situation that they didn't need to be a part of. And you know, she texted me back and you know, things were said. She like body shamed me. And you know, oh. I'm, I was being very respectful. I was being very mature about the situation. Like, everybody has a right to feel how they feel. And I just feel like her expressing how she felt on camera, was, that's where it all transpired. And that's why people felt so comfortable to come and like, you know, start bashing us and start speaking about a situation they didn't know the full details to. They didn't know the back end conversations to. They didn't know the text messages that were exchanged. Like they just didn't know the full story. And that's where I feel like, if you don't speak about us and if we don't speak about you, situations like this just won't happen. You know what I mean? Like it could have been an easy conversation that you had between you and King where it was just like, a, hey, like I feel like you could have did this for Kaiser instead of me having to go out my way. And you're completely right. Like that's valid. Like that's how you feel. Can't nobody stop how you feel. And then it could have went from there. Things could have got clarified or whatever the case could be. But I had just texted her as a woman because at the end of the day when things happen between all this co-parenting situation and all this media stuff like it does affect me too i am literally always dragged into it and yes it be by the supporters and stuff like that but it's still not right it's just not right so i had texted her because it's like they're coming <laughs> truthfully y'all i feel like i read more comments that were coming for me than they were coming for king <laughs> stop reading the comments Do I feel like Neek should have brought up that she was going to get Kaiser an outfit? Or do I feel like um, she was being shady? I feel like she was bringing attention to it more so than shade because it's almost like this nigga didn't get him an outfit. But I, I believe it it was in a comical way. Um, shady in a comical way. However, I feel like that school situation was shady in a comical way because it was no reason for y'all to bring up the school situation if y'all ain't taking care of Kaiser respectfully. This shit getting a little too deep for me. I ain't gonna lie. We shouldn't be in a business like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I should not be able to talk about all of this. And I'm gonna talk about it because it's here, right? I feel like Nika is just pulling one that y'all pulled on her. If we have a conversation and we're not supposed to talk about each other, the school shit shouldn't have been brought up. It's almost like I feel like Nick feel guilty at the fact that her son is at her mother's house. And I feel like King feel even more guilty at the fact that he ain't at his house. I feel like both of y'all feel guilty. And I think that Nick feels guilty at the fact that she got to hustle and make sure that Kaiser is taken care of and her mom is taken care of as well um, to make sure that she could take care of their household technically and her household as well, which is a lot of pressure, especially on a woman. So I feel as though she feels some type of way about that. And I also feel as though she feels some type of way at the fact that she had to kind of force this hand because my, I need help. I'm not getting it from him. King, I can't trust you to have my baby to go to school because you don't want to take him. I, let's let's just call a spade a spade what it is these days with this situation, bro. So I feel like it's a lot of pressure on her. You know what I'm saying? And if King, I feel like, so with King, I feel like he's at a point where he has peace and he's taking advantage of that peace that he has. Right. So it's like, I got a woman to take care of these kids, bro. I make sure I bring the bread home. That's what I, that's all I need to do. You know, not that he ain't holding the babies, not that he ain't putting the babies to sleep, things like that. I'm not saying that. But when it comes to Kaiser, he not handling that business he's supposed to handle with Kaiser because he's comfortable in the peace that he has up here. And I genuinely feel that shit. Like, 
And unfortunately, everything falls on Neek. And I think Neek tired of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think she's just tired of it. You know? And I don't think they realize it. Or care. You know? I'm like, what? Like, how am I to blame? It's like... And, and, and... You're taking shots that you don't even, you're not supposed to be taking, but I'm not going to lie. The role that Lena is supposed to play in this, she's not. I'm not going to lie. Lena, Kaiser should be over there with you and them other two babies just as much as he's supposed to be with Neek. What I mean is if Neek gives ample opportunity for equal time, that is supposed to be handled. And unfortunately, the woman in the house is supposed to be the one to take care of all the children, all the children. You don't work king handling that business. You do put in with your videos now. No, don't get me wrong. But I know he the one handling that bread. So with that being said, he handling the money. You handle the children. Right. You're handling the your two, but you're not handling Kaiser. That is the problem. And I don't understand why y'all don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> I, like, I'm trying to understand why y'all don't understand it. I am. I feel like I am more than anybody else. But it's something missing here. Like, I understand King is feeling his peace. He went through some things. They was in a relationship for a long time. Bet. Lena, you are at the crib. You taking care of all of them. You got your two, he's included. And I feel like you're not playing your role in that. And that's why people calling you out for it. And quite frankly, I feel like you're feeling guilty about it because you ain't handling it. And I think you know that. If all fails, Lena's the blame. Like it all boils down, Lena is the bottom blame. And I'm like, what? So it's just like, yeah, I had texted her very maturely, very respectfully. Was not coming at her. Everything I stated. Y'all, the text is never maturely and they're never really grown up. Like text, text messages can be misconstrued um, by the words, unfortunately call each other i just want to put that up it was a fact and then like yeah she started body shaming me and she called me like biggie and humpty dumpty and then she blocked me oh and then God. that's when i got on live because i was like i'm telling you y'all they were spamming me they were spamming our youtube account and i was just like you know i'm finna clear it up like i just feel like it's not right like we're gonna sit here we're on vacation we're trying to enjoy ourselves and here we are like in drama again in a mess people coming at us and not knowing the full and backstory of it uh, well, Kia, and, and you absolutely right it don't need to be no calling or texting at all you absolutely right but at the top of the list no texting <laughs> like come on now we all know that I feel like some of us have to learn that, but like texting is a no. Yeah, I did get on live. I stated that, you know, I stated the situation. I tried to clear it up. <laughs> I'm going to just say I tried because I did not clear it up. But I tried to clear up the freaking situation. And it might have made things worse. And like I said, I should have gone on live. I should have just kept my composure oh. um, and just let the situation blow over. But it's just so unfair. And I feel like any, it's just like a, like being silenced type of thing. And I just think a lot of the time we always get the short end of the stick where we're silent to a situation or we don't speak up on a situation. And it really just makes you feel shitty on the inside. <sighs> so, um, and then it's just like, I know what kind of father King is. And I know when he asked, you know, Jacinda, like, hey, do you have this over there? It was innocent. Like it was just a one, two, three. But yeah, I feel like a lot of it just could have been avoided. But when I did get on live, I did state like she didn't know about the conversations that her mom and King had because she don't be with Kaiser. And everybody took that as me like degrading her, me just putting my two cents in a situation that had nothing to do with me where in reality, Everybody includes me in the situation. And it, if it's affecting King, it's affecting me. If it's affecting our YouTube, it's affecting me. If it's affecting our household, it's affecting me. Me and him, we're not two separate people. We're one. We work together. We're best friends. We're together every single day. His emotions are my emotions. We are literally in each other's face every single day. And I just hate the narrative that people try to paint him to be like a deadbeat father like that. It hurts me because one like I just know what happens behind closed doors I know what happens behind closed doors so yes if I feel like I want to defend my family if I want to defend my man if I want to say what I think is correctly I'm going to get on live or I'm going to get on the media and I'm going to say what I feel at the end of the day we all work on social media so yeah 
it, it's taken a lot for me to shut the hell up because ultimately <laughs> she need to get out what she gonna say. Saying that Neek is not with her son is shady. If y'all felt like by her saying King didn't get her an outfit was shady, you do know by saying that she ain't with her son all the time is shady. Correct? Let me take this damn watch off. Both of y'all was throwing shade. Both parties. <laughs> King ain't get her no. King ain't get him no outfit. Shade. She she ain't never with her son. Shade. Y'all don't even know how bad y'all are starting shit with each other, and then calling it like I ain't even mean nothing by it. That's those are shady words. She's not with her son normally and he ain't get him no outfit for an engagement party is shade equally. I I cannot let y'all play victim because Nick actually isn't playing victim. But I cannot let y'all play victim to the fact that both of y'all are being shady towards each other. That's what's causing the problem. Lena, you ain't get disrespected no more than what Neek got disrespected. You feel as though, people feel as though you ain't there for Kaiser. It's because you're not. Okay? You feel as though Neek ain't there for him as much as she should be. It's because she's not. She has him at her mother's house because she feels as though she needs help and ain't got it. She has to make money for her son and now her mother. Okay, you have to make, excuse me, King has to make money now for his whole entire family. So his focus is on the money. Your focus should be on the children. Neek's focus is on her family. Y'all are actually doing the same damn thing, but shading each other at the same time. But you're playing victim. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is kind of. It does kind of matter in oh. a little bit of a sense oh. what people say and what people think, especially when our own, like I was seeing our own supporters, like oh. man, Lane and King, like that's not right and stuff. Like I was seeing our own like daily supporters commenting that. So of course- Because that means they were telling the truth. My daily supporters tell me sometime, Nick, your energy off what's going on. I have to be like, friend, I ain't in a good mood. <laughs> today ain't the day i'm looking for a house there's a lot going on got y'all need to start telling the truth y'all not getting along and you aren't in your place jesus christ this video on me first i'm gonna go and try to clear things up for the people that care so then another video was made and more things were said that I'm honestly don't have nothing listen. to do with me but i'm gonna just say this like when kaiser is over here he is well taken care of he has a room full of toys spider-man xbox clothes every time he comes over here he has new toys on his bed he has new outfits on his bed he has stuff that i ordered him when he wasn't here on his bed and yeah, when Kaiser's here, he's straight. He's happy. He's having a good time. At the engagement party, Kaiser was having fun. He was on the floor wrestling with other kids. I was happy to see Olenia. He was like pushing her stroller around when she was crying. Like everybody has so much fun. I feel like everybody that's like just trying to paint everything to be this worst image. It's just like, it's just too much. It was miscommunication from two part, three parties. It was miscommunication from three parties and that's just really what it is. But I feel like a lot of this could have been avoided if the agreement that we all had agreed on, that we all was like, yeah, okay, you know, whatever, we don't do this, you don't do that. If that was respected, then none of this would have transpired. Things could have been handled in real life or over a phone call or over text. Even before I went on live, I was just trying to be a mature woman and come to her and just be like, hey, like I'm not okay with this, especially since how we left things off. I feel like you shouldn't have used our engagement party in your title you're valid to feel how you feel about the outfit and the situation that personally doesn't really have anything to do with me but i'm still trying to you know educate you on what the conversations were when you weren't around because kaiser was with jacinda in louisiana for school when king was speaking to her um but then things went left and like it just got disrespectful and then i got blocked
situation that personally doesn't really have anything to do with me but i'm still trying to you know educate you on what the conversations were when you weren't around because kaiser was with jacinda in louisiana for school why don't y'all hear that that's a trigger <laughs> come on let's let's listen to it again oh when they'll tell you feel about the outfit and the situation that personally doesn't really have anything to do with me but i'm still trying to you know educate you on what the conversations were first of all educating me is a no-no that's number one when you weren't around because kaiser was with jacinda in louisiana for school informing me is a different word educating me is a different word People don't even understand why they trigger people, but let's just keep it. King was speaking to her, um, but then things went last name like it just got disrespectful and then I got blocked, like I said. You know, another video was made and this is really why I'm making this video because this right here, forget the like, forget the word like, oh, you know, like Biggie and Humpty Dumpty and Miss Chubby Lady, like cool whatever y'all can call me whatever you guys want I'm four months postpartum i will not look like this forever when i snap back it's forget the word here forget the like honey that's bothering you that's bothering you right as it should because neek shouldn't be that damn petty because come on neek however when you say to me when you not there with your son and I'm trying to educate you is also hurting me as well. As in Neek, y'all are throwing shots at each other. See, you just kind of went low and you thought that you could just go low and you know, that'll be okay. But just, Neek just went to hell. That's all. <laughs> that's what black people do. I, you, I'm going to say some shit that you know. I'm trying to check you on because I'm trying to educate you with a automatically piss me off. One, one, one in the chat. Um, especially if you texted to me, but then I'm just trying to tell you because you wasn't with there. You, excuse me. You wasn't there with your son. That's low to me. So now I got to go to hell. That's all. Nick just went to hell with you. She knows she had a baby before. She knows she gained weight before. She already know all of these things. And then you had two back to back. So it is not unlikely for your body to do whatever it is it's supposed to do. You brought life to this world. And I wish you wouldn't feel the way that you feel about it. But you cannot be shady to her and then expect her to not shade you at all. It's just not. That's just not how that happened. But I hate that she feels this way because that's ridiculous. You just had two babies. Two! I'm talking back the back. You have every right to eat every Oreo cookie you decide to eat. Okay. Even if you ain't eating that. Okay. You have your every right to have the body that you have. Cause you brought not one nigga two. Okay. To this earth back to back. Okay. So girl, she, uh, Nick will have to miss me with that shit. Bitch, you bring two back to back. <laughs> no surgery no nothing okay but i'm just saying y'all both being shady to each other that's kind of how this gonna happen neek just went to hell with it that's all forget the word no neek if neek respond oh my god i'm so scared for neek to respond i ain't gonna lie y'all <laughs> i'm nervous like oh you know like biggie and humpty dumpty and miss chubby lady like cool whatever y'all can call me whatever neek. you guys want four <laughs> months postpartum I will not look like this forever. When I snap back, it's, that's it. That's what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I just had a second kid back to back. That's Literally. Whatever. You guys can call me whatever you guys and want. And you know that. But to insinuate that, like, I'm this mean person to Kaiser, that was, like, a real low blow. That was a real low blow, and I feel like that's what hurt me. Lord, I feel like that's fine. what hurt me even more. And after I, I, like, saw that video and stuff, um that's when i stopped like responding because i didn't want to keep like i just didn't want to respond out of anger and i didn't want to respond out of like just hurt because the situation that she's talking about that she said that she checked king 12, was 12 kaiser was here at our house for easter break 
and we had so much fun i made sure i had things lined up for when he came activities planned him and ocean were playing outside playing inside we did camping we were, they were painting i bought him like these costumes for him to play in the house with like great time but the situation that she's speaking about <laughs> kaiser and ocean when they're here they be arguing that's just it ocean is not used to having somebody else around all the time so she be arguing about his, her toys he be bad when she touches his toys like they argue brother and sister and what i always tell king is let them argue they'll figure it out you know you don't want to keep correcting them because then whatever like that's what siblings do they argue i was on the phone with his lovey and <laughs> kaiser went and he got like this whole little roll of toilet paper and he had like the smallest like the smallest little scratch on his knee and he was on the phone with his lovey acting like it just hurt it so much like he had the roll of toilet paper to his knee like he was bleeding and he was not bleeding at all y'all like he was just being dramatic like a five-year-old is i did not say um what did what is it that they said i said kaiser get over it i don't even talk like that i would never talk i might talk like that to my kid but i would never talk like that to kaiser ever 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 talk like that to kaiser i remember laughing at the situation because king was laughing as well and was like really kaiser and that's what i said i said really kaiser and i was laughing because he had the roll of toilet paper to his knee and there was nothing there and it was just a funny situation so her trying to like yeah she called king and she said what she said to king and stuff like that and she asked about the situation and she was like you know that she knows kaiser can be dramatic sometimes she just wanted to know about the situation and king told her about the situation and she was just like you know like cool yeah like she knows that he could be dramatic sometimes and my that was the end of the situation i'm not this horrible mean person to kaiser i don't discipline him i don't talk to him crazy i'm very lovable when he's here i make his freaking food for him i make sure he's having a yeah, good time that. i plan out these cool little activities i order stuff for him and the him and ocean to do like to be painted as this like horrible stepmother that wants him out the picture is just it's just so like is so mean and i know who i am and i know how i treat kaiser so that's why i've really been debating on whether or not to make this video but it's just it's just not fair to keep seeing those type of comments when like i know what i do and i know how good i am to kaiser i know how much i love kaiser i know how much i care about him like it's just so ridiculous when kaiser was living in houston kaiser was part of our vacations our little trips when we went to colorado wolf great lodge for his fourth birthday we went to rhode island when i was <clears throat> having my uh gender reveal we went to dallas i don't know but he was a part of all that when we was having all our little photo shoots our family photo shoots our intro he was a part of all that type of stuff the only reason why people have not been seeing him this past year is because he's been in louisiana we cannot accommodate to the one day that he can be here which is that a saturday that's just what it is and it's not it's nobody's fault it's just shoots our intro he was a part of all that type of stuff the only reason why people have not been seeing him this past year is because he's been in louisiana we cannot accommodate to the one day that he can be here which is that a saturday why would you say you can't accommodate i ain't gonna lie we say a lot of dumb shit in our 20s <laughs> and and I mean, all y'all going off in the comments. <laughs> Golly. You should never say that you can't accommodate. You probably ain't even mean it like that. I can't even cut my comments on. No, I can't. You should always be able to accommodate, especially to a child that ain't always. Lena, you doing this to yourself, honey. Oh. <laughs> like, I wish I could explain it. That's just what it is. We having all our little photo shoots, our family photo shoots, our intro. He was a part of all that type of stuff. The only reason why people have not been seeing him this past year is because he's been in Louisiana. We cannot accommodate to the one day that he can be here, which is that. We cannot accommodate to the one day out of 365 days. Lena, do you know what that sounds like? 
especially to the people that you are trying to explain this to. We cannot accommodate. And I know it's one day, but we couldn't accommodate to him. We had shit to do. But I'm a great stepmom. I'm just trying to tell you what they thinking. That's all I'm trying to do. Y'all probably going to be mad at me, but goddamn, it's the truth. I can't accommodate to him. My fault. It's one day out the year. I don't see him not too many other mother days out the year, but one day we couldn't accommodate. Sorry. A Saturday. That's just what it is. And it's not, it's nobody's fault. It's just, and once he gets back out here, he will be a part of everything again. Like he was when he lived in Houston. Like everybody's like dragging the situation. Like you guys never have him in any of your photo shoots. Lena wants him out the picture. Like that is not the case. And to be saying that online where a kid is going to have to get older and eventually he will see all this stuff one day. Like one day he will see all this stuff. It's just, that's just not the truth. That's just genuinely not the truth. And I feel like for that to be said online, that was a low blow. What I said that she doesn't have quite kaiser 24 7 that was a fact that was a fact like that was not But y'all don't either and that is a fact that's why it's shady fuck oh my god oh shit to say that she doesn't have him 24 7 nick is about to have a field day on y'all to say that he she doesn't have him 24 7 and that's a fact y'all don't either it's almost like you trying to say bitch you ain't doing what you supposed to do but we good over here though we couldn't accommodate him for one day but we good over here though although we don't see him oh, oh. i almost wanted to stop talking for the rest of this video <laughs> not me degrading her as a mother i never said like you're a horrible mom you don't do nothing for kaiser you don't even see what she's saying you're a deadbeat like i did not not one of those things came out my mouth at i all. didn't have to it's called passive aggression and that's what you're using i said one thing she's not with kaiser 24 7 so that's why she didn't know about the conversation that king and jacinda had oh, literally all i said fuck. that's literally all i said I didn't degrade her. That wasn't degrading her. That wasn't coming for her motherhood. That was a fact. Everybody knows that Kaiser is in Louisiana for school. That's just what it is. Like nothing about what I said was mean. Nothing about what I said was a lie. Nothing about what I said was just like what they said basically. Like what she said to me in messages is not, I didn't even like give that type of energy. I didn't come for her looks. I didn't come for her in any other type of way. And, you know, that's just honestly the situation. Everybody be like, oh, you know, like her man stays quiet, Lena. Why can't you just stay quiet? Well, does he get dragged in a, into every situation? Is everybody blaming him for a situation? Like everybody was blaming me for the situation, for a situation that first of all, shouldn't have even hit the internet. It shouldn't have been said in a video. It should have been handled behind closed doors. When I had texted her, I tried to handle it behind closed doors. It got bigger. Even though it had already hit the internet, I tried to handle it behind closed doors as a woman. Woman a woman. Anyways, people have already made up their mind um, and just feel like certain people is wrong, certain people are right, which is cool. Like y'all all have your opinions, but I just feel like it did not feel right to me um for this narrative to be paint of me as this horrible stepmother this horrible person that wants kaiser out of the picture because that's never the case that's not the case i love kaiser i sent her a couple months ago i sent her a school that's in our neighborhood for him to come to in houston and i'm like hey girl like this school's right in our community like it's in a good school and it's in our community and i know i don't know if you guys discussed where he'll be at for school yet but shoot we don't travel that much I know it will be a good stable place for him to be here. It'll be stability. You know what I mean? Like, and it's, we can walk him to school. We can walk him to school and walk him back. She didn't like the school, which is cool. She said it was an hour away from her house and she didn't want to commute that far, which is understandable because that was kind of the same situation when Kaiser was in daycare and King didn't want to commute an hour from his daycare all the way back to our house every single day. I'm so glad you brought that up. Because that's why Nick don't want y'all to have him. Lord have mercy. This is just. 
That's why I say they should go to court. Y'all mad at me for saying they should go to court. 1222 in the chat. They should go to court. The court will be able to tell King when he can have them and when he can have them. Whether they decide on the school. Y'all, matter of fact, you want, you going to have a choice to decide on that school. And clearly it's going to have to be in between where y'all live at. Because that's the argument all the time. Nah, that shit an hour away. I ain't trying to commute that far. Cool. I completely understand. When Kaiser go to real school, the school got to be 15 miles away from whatever house. So whether he living with Nico, whether he living with King, which actually he would have to put an address on the school, which I'm probably sure he's going to put Neeks. Then if King got to go pick him up, he going to have to travel. This shit so messy and nobody even see what's going on. And I'm talking about between them. And he was only in daycare then. So now it's it. real school, which I understand. Oh, he, so he is already in real school. Got it. You know, cool. I try to still help out. I'm always still trying to help out. When Kaiser was having his um, <clears throat> his, fifth, his fifth birthday and his lovey texted us and was like, like a week before his birthday, like, hey, you know, sent us the invitation and stuff like that. I was like, hey, do you want us to bring anything? Like... Do you need help with anything? I'm thinking like maybe we can be in charge of the cake. Maybe we can be in charge of the goodie bags. Like, I don't know. Like, let us know. Since you're planning this birthday party with your daughter, I'm still trying to help as a good person that I am. Like, hey, what do you need help with? Like, we're here to help. Nothing was told that they need help with except for decorating. But she had already got her cousin to decorate her house. Like, it's just so much things that like, it's two sides to every story. I'm going to just say that. There's two sides. Y'all was too late, Lionel. Y'all was too late, Lord. They don't see it, and it's stressing me out. It's stressing me out that they really don't see it. And, like, girl, if I was to talk to them, we'd be arguing all day because they got their point of view, and they sticking to it, like, real shit. And I'm not saying Neek is right about everything, but some shit just be a little common on the sense you know what i'm saying Kaiser birthday coming up nick i got a thousand dollars what we trying to do you know what i'm saying like he say if he having and she having then i know we gonna make our baby birthday it's gonna cost a little it's gonna cost a little bag all right so i got a band at least what y'all trying to do Oh, well, if you got a band and shit, we can get the bubblies, we can get the this, we can get the that. Okay, bet. Well, I need to do cash out. Cash out. So when I pull up to the birthday, y'all will never be able to say I ain't bring no bread. And to be honest, if it, if I was king, I would just have my own birthday separately. You On your on his birthday, y'all could do whatever the fuck y'all please. And honestly, I wouldn't even go because I ain't welcome. But when I get them, we're going to have a separate birthday party. Because quite frankly, y'all can't get along. So um, I ain't even coming. I'm going to make sure my boy know that I said happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? You going to kick it with your mama. All that. But boom. It might be the next day. And that's okay. I'm coming to get you. And we, yeah, we're going to do this over here on my side. You know what I'm saying? I'm not waiting for none of y'all to tell me shit though. That's every story. This whole situation got blown out of proportion and I should have just never went live to begin with. I should have just took Definitely what never she told live. me in text and just ate it up. But honestly, you know, people get fed up. And at that point, I really was fed up because I just felt like our engagement party and this whole engagement era and you know, like our trip to Thailand and stuff, like we just had so much happy, happy energy, happy good like feels around us and like just for it to just get rocks thrown at it and like a small innocent situation blown way out of proportion when it really 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 could have just been prevented mm -hmm. if it was not spoke about if our engagement party was not put in your title and it just wasn't spoke about that was the boundaries that we had set and if you're an adult that you know when you're in a co-parenting situation, when you're in this blended family situation, there has to be boundaries. There has to be respect from each side. That's the only way that it will work. And, and unfortunately, you disrespected it when you brought up the school. God damn it. And she don't see that either. I don't even care if you spoke to Nick. First of all, 
If we had a conversation that I don't need to speak about you, you don't need to speak about me. Y'all would probably say, I ain't say your name, no. I was talking about Kaiser, but you're talking about the situation with Kaiser. This shit right here is the same shit. She did not say y'all's name. <laughs> she didn't say y'all name, man. She just said the engagement party, okay? She said y'all didn't have an outfit. Remember, you the one who said that she ain't normally with her son. Him not getting an outfit, that's a fact. Lena, that's a fact. He didn't get the outfit. So as far as I'm concerned, technically nobody threw shade if that's the case. He didn't get an outfit, which is a fact. She's not normally with Kaiser. That's a fact. So both of y'all just said the truth. I just want to know why y'all's is way worse than what Neeks would be. And why it's just more so like, Bro, we ain't mean that shit like that. I just, I, I ain't gonna lie. I hate this shit all together. It's just not needed, bro. This is not needed, okay? Like I said, both of y'all are being shady on each party or if we gonna call it a fact, if the truth is just being told, sis, you ain't get the outfit. <laughs> like for real, you didn't get the outfit. That is a fact for you to call it a fact that she's never with Kaiser. That fact still remains that y'all didn't get that outfit. So what are we like for real? <laughs> what is going on? I don't even know why we still doing this. I blame King more so than her, which is why she should hush. King did not get that outfit. Neek brought it up. Neek ain't around Kaiser that much. They brought it up. As far as I'm concerned, y'all equally disrespected each other as far as y'all feel. So I feel like that's why Lane is involved in general. But if she feels as though generally, like y'all think because I'm at home, some of y'all think because I'm at home, I lost my office. I know for a fact 1600 about to get pulled out of my bank account Um, come the 19th. 1600 is going to disappear from my bank account. Let's not talk about how my how much my rent is. I don't have to prove that to y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to. We don't have to. I don't have to go down the lines of that. You know what I'm saying? I know that I didn't lose my office. I know how much I have to pay. I know how much is coming out of my bank account. Say what you want to say. I don't give a fuck. So if you feel as though you taking care of him properly, and granted, I've been here. I've been here on this side of the camera. I'm over here defending shit that I know ain't true. But they have been through this a little bit, a little bit more than me. Okay. And if she feels as though she take care of him and things like that, I just, I don't think, I don't think it should be an issue. But she feels as though it is. So, you know, maybe I'm. And it's only fair to the kid that's in the middle. You know what I mean? It's only fair to Kaiser. Oh, if you respect man. our boundaries, we'll respect your boundaries. If you respect me, I'm going to respect you. If you respect King, he's going to res respect you. But if you're constantly disrespecting somebody, calling them out their name, like his partner, I know about all and that's another thing. Nick should just, <laughs> Nick got to stop talking shit. This stuff. <laughs> when we went to Orlando, we got questioned on why we was in Orlando without Kaiser. Like it was, and then like King was getting disrespected while being questioned why we was in Orlando. It's not your place. Those are boundaries that we have to learn. That's not your place to question why we're in Orlando. We was in Orlando for my personal reason. So my mom can meet my daughter. And that was the when we was in Orlando. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. When I say they put in the ball right in neat court. Well, excuse me, Lena is. <laughs> Lena, that was the time that worked for my mom because my mom has a job, her husband has a job, my sister. <laughs> Boundaries that we have to learn. That's not your place to question why we're in Orlando. We was in Orlando for my personal reasons so my mom can meet my daughter. Lena, 
Why didn't your mom meet Kaiser? How is it that your mom can meet your daughter and not her grandson? Lena, when I say the ball is coming off the rim, boom, you putting it in your hand because you rebounded it, but you turn it to the left and you like, oh, here you go, Neek. <laughs> like you're putting the ball Lena, I have a question. Why would you go to Orlando, have your mother, your mama, the woman you love the most, meet your baby, right? The one you love the most, but not take your fiance's son the one he's supposed to love the most, Lena. <laughs> oh my God. I couldn't save y'all if I tried to. Cause God damn, she like, rebound. Here you go, though, Nick. I ain't even tripping. Just take it. You can you have it for the night. I just give it to me tomorrow. <laughs> And that was the, when we was in Orlando, that was the time that works for my mom because my mom has a job. Her husband has a job. My sister. What that got to do with Kaiser? Sister has school. So we went during the week. Kaiser goes to school Monday through Friday. Has to be back by Sunday to go to bed by 8 p.m. That's cool. Ain't no way in the fuck she could complain about it if he had to go to school. Nick, don't ever complain to me. If you want them to be on to school on time, your mama had to work all that. I would have brought them anyway. Period. So it was like, those are things that like, those are things that had got built up and it was just like, damn, one, two, three, four. I'm fed up. You know what I mean? Like enough is enough. Like that's just how I felt. But honestly, I should have just kept my composure because I should have just kept my composure because that's who I am. Just to keep my composure and, you know, I guess that's just what I was supposed to do. Just stay silent. And that's what the internet tries to do is just try to silent me that I can't speak up even though I'm getting dragged into situations, even though I'm getting the blame for situations, oh, even though like a lot of things happen behind closed doors that I stay silent about and I let King handle. But sometimes it's like I'm his woman at the Shade. end of the day. Like Shade. what affects him affects Shade. me. When we're getting questioned about certain things in our life, it's like his life is not only his life. His life is with me. Like a lot, some that was going to Orlando was for me. Was for my daughters. Like my my kids shouldn't have to miss out on going on a vacation because their brother's mom has him in school. My kid and their brother. My kids and their brother. My kids shouldn't have to miss out because their brother. You know, Lena, I got a mama. I met her when I was five. And it was a never my kids one side. It was all her kids. These kids I got in here, I didn't put a nut in her to have these babies, but they my children. Mine. Include Mango. It's badass. All of my kids. Everybody. I shouldn't, my kids shouldn't have to miss out on whatever because their son. Baby. <laughs> Oh, shit. I would have had to cut off if I was king. Cool in Louisiana. I would have my had daughters. To cut off. Like, my, my kids shouldn't have to miss out on going on a vacation because their brother's mom has him in school in Louisiana. And because he's in school in Louisiana, we can't go nowhere. Like, would have cussed out. That don't mean we can't go nowhere. 
First of all, I'm going to present the option. We need to go to such and such to see my motherfucking mama. All right. We go on regardless. We would like Kaiser to go. It's no way she could complain if you would even bring up the situation in general. I'm, I'm going to stop talking because this video is going to be that's, way over that's crazy. But anyways, I'm just really, I know trying. what's been bothering me. It's just the picture being painted that I'm this mean person. I'm not a mean person. I really don't have to try to convince you guys. I know in my heart that I care for Kaiser as much as I care for Ocean and Olenia. When Kaiser comes here, he has stuff on his bed. He has a whole room, a full room to himself. Like his room is clean, taken care of. He has a whole Spider-Man themed room. Xbox, clothes in his freaking closet. You know, when he gets here, he probably gonna have to get new clothes, obviously, because he's a whole different size. But that's besides the point. I feel like this situation could have been avoided in every aspect from the title to it being mentioned in the video to us just getting the stupid pants and shirt. So all of this could have just not been oh, a situation. Yeah. And even me getting alive, like I could have just stood silent, I guess, and not had made it even worse and other things be spoke about that really didn't need to be spoke about and that were really irrelevant. It is what it is. The situation is dead now. And honestly, I hope and pray that, you know, me and her said some things after I had seen the video of her saying, like, she'll beat me up if I don't stay in my place. Obviously, I had texted her and stuff like that. But truthfully, like, I just wish it didn't go that far because now there's so much tension in the air that it's like, it's, it's just messy. And anyways, y'all. That is, I guess, what I had to say. I feel like I just wanted to get that off my chest. And it has been some, you know, a couple days, five days or whatever since the situation. But like I said, I just really wanted to cool down. And I wanted to not speak off of, like, emotions and anger. I really wanted to just say what I feel was my truth, I guess. I don't freaking know. But, you know, I'm sorry that it took me three months to be on camera and I'm sorry this is the video that has to be posted after three months but I just felt like this was necessary and if everything is going to be seen later on in life like I want this video to be seen too I want this video to be seen that I'm not that person and that's not how it went down you know and I just hope that honestly I do hope that the situation behind closed doors can get resolved in a way um for the sake of the kids because at the end of the day like and i always say this like our kids are siblings our kids are siblings and i'm big on blended family like i really am i'm really big on blended family i'm big i'm sorry i'm sorry i try my best it's no way you're big on blended families bro i'm big my whole family is a blended family but it was never their brother that's a lie i got one brother he lost his motherfucking mind he the only one because he ain't want to be a part. So that's on him. He grown now. That's on him. However, outside of him, <laughs> the rest of the family um, is in agreement. Okay. He made a decision as a, um, a older. He was in college by that time. He didn't want to be involved. He felt like my daddy wasn't there for him and things like that. Because my daddy was um, more so taking care of us than taking care of him or time in, in general because of his mother, right? So that's kind of how that went. In this situation, I would never want Kaiser to see this video ever. And I pray he don't. I'm not going to stop my daughters from going on vacation because of their brother. And I know you like their brother's mother. No, no, no. Because if I love him, you coming with me. And if he with me, you ain't. But clearly he wasn't with you. So, Nick, how can you even complain is where I would have been. Um, I don't think Kaiser feel that love that y'all think that he do, unfortunately. And I hate to say this because, you know, we all were kids at one point. You know, so our inner kid is kind of coming out with watching what y'all got going on, unfortunately. And that's what makes it so personal. And it seemed like it's more my daughters than my, my kids. Unfortunately, it should always be my kids, not my daughters, you know? 
So if we big on blending families, then that shouldn't even come out your mouth. Respectfully. Um, it's my kids, not my daughters, because my kids includes my son. You know. If my mom who raised me would have said that, I would have completely known that you don't fuck with me like that. <laughs> For you to say, yo, kids, oh, I just would like to introduce my kids, oh, and her, his daughter. She used to introduce us, these are my kids, uh, him, her, and her. But you know what? I'm not going to lie. It seems like everybody got their mind made up. And I, uh, poor Kaza, I'm not going to lie. Um, Cause they, they don't get it. And um, I can't react in a fake way. Cause I always tell y'all, I, I love King. I think he's a great dude. You know, Lena is not a bad person. I just don't think she understand what she's talking about for real. I really don't. But all right. They go like just helping each other out when needed. But anyways, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be posting again on this channel. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like everybody's gonna have their opinions though, but this is like my side and going forward, honestly, I'm not ever, 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 ever y'all can hold me to this. Never am I gonna get on the internet again with this BS. I, hope not. I feel like me and King, we really be in this like peace bubble. We're so at peace, like we are so at peace in life. We are so like, you know, for each other, in our family, trying to better ourselves. Every single day, me and him are trying to better ourselves. King has been bettering himself since the day I met him. And I hopefully, you know, I just feel like this was a, this was a learning situation. And this just made me also realize because like even when we was in Thailand and all this stuff was going on, I was like, you know what? Let's not even pay attention to our phone because at the end of the day, all of this is the internet. And this isn't really, I mean, it is kind of, it is kind of real life in a way. But honestly, when you turn off your phone, all the comments don't matter because nobody's coming up to you in your face and saying that. Um, but some of this is real life. Like some of this really does affect real life, but I don't know where I'm getting at anymore. But anyways, I'll see you guys again and you know like I said in the beginning all of this could have been prevented I love all my besties all the people that be commenting all right let me look at these comments Lane to stay out of it period you are causing more problems you are very controlling if a man loves you that does not mean you have to have the right to keep jumping on the internet and speaking on what you have no business with. Let Neek and King sort things out without you interfering. That message has a 444 on it. I just thought that y'all should know. All right. Let me uh, bring myself down here. Horrible response, immature. They don't drag Dwayne because he stays out of the drama from jump, which is a fact. Uh, the point is you should have stayed in your place, period. Jacinda takes care of Kaiser. You stated this wasn't said to be negative, but you knew the context you tried to use. It was very nasty. All right. Uh, Lena, I love you, but I have to be honest. Apart from telling her not to post about you, her reaction to their son not getting an outfit cannot be her fault. The reaction is not the issue. The issue is him not being bought an outfit. If you can say you were wrong to not get the outfit, leave it there because it was wrong for sure. Hello. Um, don't focus on the reaction and miss the action. Come, nah, you, you talking that shit. The terms used in the title were general words, engagement, party, dad. Yes, I get it. Uh, it's your party, but it was not a secret if you get what I mean. It was known to public you both were having a party. Focusing on the title does not need to be an issue. The issue is him not having an outfit. If the other way around, you would have felt bad if your girl seemed left out. Huh, I want to keep reading this. Have to think about situations both ways, which she is not doing. Um, honestly, this is King's fault. Had he been a man in this situation instead of a ch being a childish boy going back and forth with her, you wouldn't feel like you have to constantly defend the both of you. He's literally putting you in a situation, excuse me, putting you in the same stupid ass situations we watched him do with Neek. 
which turned into him embarrassing the hell out of her publicly that ended their relationship. Lied through dirt and ran away from the situation. Literally exited stage left with the Carmen and Corey shit once it hit the fan after he started everything. Now he started some shit, didn't properly communicate and put you in the situation to have to be defensive because of his mishandling of it all. Again, this is not your fault. This is not Neek's fault. This is all his. Um... It's called self-sabotaging. When life gets too real for the boy, he does boyish things. Please make sure y'all seek premarital counseling before before your I do's or we will be back here years later with your video on how he mistreated and emotionally, mentally abused you as um, we saw him do the neek. Damn. I'm going to go to the next one. I just feel like you're speaking on things you have no right to speak on. You're overstepping your boundaries. Uh, Dwayne stay very quiet and you can see that he really loved Kaiser. I agree. Um, a real father would have picked his son something up to wear when he got to his, when he got his simple. That's how real fathers do. They should just go to court. Parents travel for their kids. Okay. That was all she had to say. Dwayne don't speak out. You do keep your mouth shut. How are you trying to apologize and still being shady at the same time? Just shut up sometime. This video was pointless. Um, I agree with half them comments. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, quite frankly, I just don't think you get it, Lena. This video did not make it better, and I hope you delete it. Um, It's so sad that like the inner child comes out of us because you see things that happen, you know, when you were a child and things like that. And you genuinely just don't see what's going on here. Um, you're speaking from a selfish place and not the child's place. So um, that's all I have to say. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.